Okay. We're going to do this design. I'm going to attempt it my best, but I make, I put all my little designs that I come up with in this little, called little jumbo book, just a little steno pad. And I keep all my designs in here. But that's the one we're going to attempt through camera. Um, all the colors I use in stripers are in the drop box below. So if you want to know what colors, and well, I mean obviously the black and white, but some of you like to know the name brands and stuff. Um, okay. We're going to start off with... Hold on. Let me zoom up a little bit. Hopefully it's still clear here. Okay. going to come around. And just fill that in. same thing again but leave a little leave a little uh, white in the middle here and by doing that you don't have to worry about using a white striper unless you need a touch up there sometimes I catch myself holding my breath doing this stuff. I've always done that though. I guess it just gives you a steadier hand. And then make it a little wider. And it don't matter if you get in there because you're going to fill that in anyway. There we go. Be careful going around the edge near the white. Oh, I think I've already said it, but start off with your white base coat. Well, a clear a base coat, and then your nail polish, your white nail polish. Or you could use another color if you want to. It's whatever, whatever you want to do. I chose white. There you go. And that's how that looks so far. Now, you want to take your red. I've got a plain red here. There's no glitter in it. This other one has glitter in it. But I'm going to use the plain one. And uh, I got these kiss stripers from Walgreens. Now the art, I think they're called Art Deco. Yeah. These Art Deco ones I get from the Dollar, Dollar General. And they're only a buck. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, now you're going to do that white line again. Make it a little bigger though than your smaller white area that you did. And then you'll just come and leave a. There. And now what you'll do is just fill all that area in. Sorry, I'm trying to. Staying camera in frame here. I'm sorry if it's a little fuzzy. I'm still learning how to. I can take better pictures than I can filming this close and this small of an object. I need to read my camera camera book there that I've got. I just started reading it, but. 
we go. Almost got it finished here. That's what that looks like. Now, I think you can see it. And now, if you want to, you can add a little bit of the glitter to the red, but I don't. Well, let's go ahead and do that. A little something different here. I like to add a little glitter to things, not too much. I like to overdo it, but a little bit makes it pretty, I think. Okay, so now just go over your red area with the red glitter polish. And of course I didn't let my red dry too well. make sure if you're doing it on yourself let it dry and always cap your ends I've already done it with the white area but there now do it with the red and there you go and you know what that actually looks a lot prettier with a little bit of glitter on it. And I'll try to get you in frame. Well, clear, I mean. I'm gonna take a picture of it.